Watching Local 10, home of local10.com and justweather.com. Hundreds of federal agents raided pain clinics in Broward and Miami-Dade counties today after a year-long investigation into the illegal sale of prescription drugs. Eight people were arrested and 22 clinics were closed. Over the past year, agents went undercover and said they were able to get powerful medications without even undergoing the proper medical exams. Pill mills are really taking a toll on society and families. According to the Florida Department of Law Enforcement, more than 1,200 people in our state died last year from prescription drug overdose. Local 10's Christy Kruger takes a closer look at who goes to these clinics and the struggles they face to beat their addiction. But my life, I can see it just getting away from me. It was getting worse and worse every day. 24-year-old Grant Gubach is among the many new faces of drug addiction. We get firemen here. We get police officers that come here. We have uh, businessmen. We're finding people like that. It's not the, the down and dirty drug addict that everybody thinks about. It's no longer that. It's the housewife that has a back injury. Gubach, a college graduate, became hooked on prescription narcotics after a sports injury. When his personal doctor cut him off, a friend turned Gubak on to pain clinics. I would jump from pain clinic to pain clinic. I would get my friends to go for me. I was paying them so I could get triple the amount. But he hardly needed the help. They, I would tell them what I used to take and what I was on. They would be like, is that it? Kind of asking me if I wanted more. Dr. Jeffrey Camblett, diplomat of the American Board of Addiction Medicine, says people who go to pill mills usually leave with at least four different medications. And they're very short-acting. They're short-acting medications. Legitimate chronic, chronic pain patients require long-acting medications. It's short-acting medications that cause addiction. Gubak is now in recovery at the G&G Holistic Treatment Center in North Miami Beach, facing what he knows is a long and hard battle. I think the pain clinic should be shut down. It, it was so easy for me to get pills. I think maybe when somebody in government loses their son or their daughter, then we'll start to really act. Addiction experts say that pill mill patients typically walk out with prescriptions that have a street value of $1,000 to $4,000 each. And many of these people are not only drug users, they become drug pushers as well. I'm Christy Krueger, Local 10 News. And tomorrow morning at 6.30, find out how, firsthand how pill mill clinics really operate, as Christy hears from a former employee.